On this week's episode, we take you to a vegetation fire just east of Marina Valley. And Cal Fire Deputy Chief Isaac Sanchez stops by to teach us about their publicly available incident maps for vegetation fires. Hi, I'm Firefighter Brennan Polensky. Welcome back to another episode of Report on Conditions. Let's get started by looking over some highlighted incidents. Last week, from June 10th through 16th, the department responded to a total of 3,914 calls for service. This included 2,958 medical emergencies and 147 fire-related calls. Let's check out a few of these incidents. At around 2 p.m. on Monday, June 10th, Firefighters responded to numerous 911 calls reporting grass on fire in the 7500 block of Ritchie Canyon Road in unincorporated Marina Valley. The first arriving battalion chief reported difficult access in rough terrain. One of the firefighting airplanes reported three to five acres of grass burning at a slow rate of spread. Due to this report, the chief requested four additional engines to respond. Firefighters were able to make access and get hose line around the fire to stop the forward spread in about an hour. Fire resources were committed for approximately four hours for heavy mop-up and full containment. A total of eight acres burned and no injuries to civilians or firefighters were reported. In the late evening of Thursday, June 13th, firefighters responded to a traffic collision near the intersection of Grapefruit Boulevard and Avenue 49 in Coachella. The first engine on scene reported a single vehicle that had rolled over into a tree. Patients were trapped in the car and the engine requested additional resources to assist with extrication as well as a second ground ambulance. Both patients were extricated after about 20 minutes and transported with moderate and serious injuries to a local area hospital. On Saturday, June 15th, firefighters responded to multiple 911 calls reporting a semi-truck on fire near the intersection of Avenue 50 and Highway 86 Expressway in the city of Coachella. The first responding engine reported visible smoke and immediately requested a water tender to respond as well. Once on scene, the engine reported a 53-foot semi-truck trailer on fire. The flames were quickly contained to the trailer and units were on scene for about one hour working on mop-up. No injuries were reported. On Sunday, June 16th at about 1 p.m., dispatchers received reports of a vegetation fire that started near Gilman Springs Road and Alessandro Boulevard, just east of Moreno Valley. The fire was initially reported to be approximately 10 acres in light flashy fuels with a moderate rate of spread. Due to the remote terrain, firefighters had difficulty reaching the fire and it quickly grew to 100 acres. A significant augmentation of resources, including 10 additional off-road fire engines and additional air tankers were requested. By the end of the day on Sunday, the fire had grown to 450 acres and was continuing to burn. Fortunately, at the time of this recording, the Lisa fire is 890 acres and 100% contained. I'm CAL FIRE Deputy Chief Isaac Sanchez and this is Did You Know? Did you know that CAL FIRE has an incidence map which reflects all CAL FIRE vegetation fires that have reached 10 acres or more? Some of the information in the near real-time maps include fire size, containment, resource counts, and fire perimeters. In addition to these features, you can also track the locations of all CAL FIRE aircraft, whether they're on the ground or in the air. CAL FIRE provides these resources to the public to ensure that they are receiving timely, thoroughly vetted information on CAL FIRE activities statewide. Did you know that the lush green annual grass growing in your yard could be putting your home at risk for wildfire damage? With the recent increase in rainfall, seasonal grasses are growing quickly. And when they dry out, they become fuel for wildfires. Don't wait until it's too late to protect your home. Visit rvcfire.org for information on how to create defensible space and reduce the risk of wildfire damage. That's it for this week's Report on Conditions. Follow your firefighters in action on our social media at Cal Fire RRU and stay up to date on incidents happening countywide. If you caught any great footage of our firefighters at work or out in the community, send them to us at rrupio at fire.ca.gov. On behalf of your Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau, I'm Brennan Polensky. Thanks for watching.